Hello everyone, welcome to another PowerShell video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to show you how to get when updates were installed on a machine. So you may come across a question from your IT manager or from somebody that wants to know when was the system last patched or when were updates installed and you've now got to go and log into every single system they want to be able to pull this information. So what I did is I put together a PowerShell script and it will loop through as many servers that you specify in it and give you the information. Now you'll see on the screen, I am running PowerShell ISE and let me walk you through what the script does. So we first set the computers. So it's the names separated by a comma and a space in inverted commas. So in my lab, I got a DC, a 2019 server and a second 2019 server and this is running windows server 2022 2022 and server 2019 and it has a for loop so what it, or for each loop what it does is it loops to each and every one and it goes and looks at the windows logs and then reports the last time it was updated you can run this command or run this set of commands or the script directly from ISE, or you can save it as a PowerShell script to run it. So what we can see here is it mentions that my DC was last updated on the 2nd of February at 7.35, my first exchange server on the same date, but 7.41, and then my third exchange server is at a later date. So this information you can now give back to the person that is asking and say, listen here, yeah, all these servers that you specified were patched on this date at this time. And it's nice to know because at least you know if you are behind, maybe you've got um, patching done via WSUS or SCCM. And if it's not happening, at least you have a report that will tell you which servers have been patched or haven't been patched or are behind with patches. I just thought it would save time putting this together because I want to know many times when was a server patched because if there's issues you're trying to troubleshoot, the first thing I do is look at was there a Windows update that applied and did that update maybe cause something to break whatever is broken. If you find this helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I thank you very much for watching.